So I guess at this point, we are just playing the waiting game. We're waiting for the drought to end. We're waiting to see if the water that we have left is enough to sustain the colony. I mean, District 1 is getting no more water this side of the drought ending, which is kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Definitely a little scary. It is the most populated one and 500. Oh, that's not enough. That is not enough. That, that's, that's not enough. That's, that's so, that is so far. Oh no. Okay. How's district two doing right now? It's doing a bit better. We are going to need to set up some water deliveries from district two to district one, because if we don't do this, district one might die. Well, not all of it, but a good chunk of it. So absolutely distribution limits water, uh, the highest, I guess, I'm going to say 400. This might hurt District 2 as well, but I think I think we need to do that. I think 400, I mean, it's going to drop down there pretty quick, I would imagine. So, uh, I, don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. It's not as bad as it could be. I will say that. It's not, we're not critical. We're not at a spot where I think we're going to lose a ridiculous number of beavers. But I'm definitely not as comfortable as I want to be. With that said, I mean, you know, silver linings and all that, you know, uh, glass half full, glass half empty. The glass half empty is, oh God, we might all die. The glass half full is, well, we're not all dead and we're actually managing to sustain two admittedly very, very small additional districts off of this one giant district. So it's not all bad. It's just very close to being very bad which is not all bad i guess that's that's about all i got that's that's as positive as, as i can be in this situation we've still got three days of drought left to go we've got 289 water in this district oh no oh no that's actually awful yeah we're okay we are absolutely going to lose a lot of beavers we are absolutely gonna lose it because it doesn't look like they only consume one unit of water it looks like they probably consume a lot more than that in the morning some of them taking two so oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy I, i've got a bad feeling about this uh but it's fine this like i said you know this will hopefully be done before the drought's over uh, we can hope that's, that's it. That's all we got. We can hope that it'll be over or it'll be built and everything will be fine. This is done at least, which is great news. And, uh, I'm actually going to get, uh, you know what? I'm pretty sure water can't go through that corner. So we're going to prioritize this just to finish all of this. And we'll prioritize that as well, just to finish that bit of construction and then just flood this entire area. Oh no, District 1 has absolutely no water right now. District 2 still has a good amount, but District 1, oh no. We kind of need more. Let's bring this up to like 600 for now. Not that that's necessarily going to help because we need the deliveries to be made, but it's about all we can do. In fact, you know what I think we need to do? We're 1.5 days out from this drought being over. We're going to take a big risk right here. We're going to turn those back on. And we are going to probably drain the lake. But we have beavers dying of thirst. We actually have a lot of beavers. There's so many that are thirsty and dying of thirst right now. So we... You know, drastic action is is essential at this point. The numbers are going to drop pretty quickly. So I think draining the, the lake is about the only thing we can do. That's that's the only thing we can do to uh, hopefully save District 1. Now, we do still have plenty of water up here, which is great news. And this is actually done, which is amazing. So let's raise that up to one. Well, actually, 1 1.5 is fine because this is done as well so if this actually works we might have put ourselves in a really good situation so that that makes me really happy actually that this 
this might work out. No guarantees, but in a day, we're we're going to find out, I guess. Uh, lake still hasn't been drained, though, which is good. Not really much water in District 1. Uh, still plenty there. Still probably enough there and still enough there. So we're doing... We're doing all right. We're definitely doing all right in everywhere but District 1. These guys are having a bad time. They're having a they're having a really bad time. So like there there's a bunch of them dying of thirst and then every time one dies a baby is born. I mean it's I guess this is a way to refresh the population as horrible as that is. It's a horrible way to look at it, but it's about the only way to look at it right now and i've just realized they're using half that water for irrigation towers i don't want to turn those off in the middle of a drought because if we had enough water they would be the only way to keep most of the crops alive even though most of the crops are in this case already dead and just like that the drought is over which is good news because it means that very very soon we're not gonna have everybody dying and it's also good news because it means that we're about to see if my little construction project has paid off. If I've missed something, this could be slightly catastrophic. That's that's kind of the only thing that I'm I'm kind of wary of, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I've also decided to build more levees over here, which uh, I'm eventually going to build some water pumps on top of. But for now, Let's just pay attention to the water and see what ends up happening. In theory, it should stop here, fill up that entire space, and then continue going. So this is, it is going to slow things down. It is going to slow down the recovery from the drought. And we have so many beavers dying right now. In fact, I'll tell you what, lower that right down, let the water through. And that way we can get some water in here. We can turn on all of the pumps again. Uh, in fact, do the same thing over here as well. We'll lower those floodgates down just to let the water through as quickly as possible. Because we are losing, we've probably lost about 40 to 50 beavers at this point. So getting this water in here, I think is more important than getting my whole grand scheme going right now. That way we can sort of stop the massive amount of death that's uh, that's currently going on. And it looks like that's worked for the most part, which is lovely. It seems like the deaths have uh, certainly slowed down. And hopefully, we're not going to find ourselves in this situation again. Hopefully, this little change I've made up here is, is going to be enough. In fact, uh, looking at the water level, I don't, I don't know if I want to close this yet. But I think, well, I guess I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll close it once the water has reached the edge of the map. That seems like a like a fair enough thing to do. Or I guess once it reaches here. That's that's probably also fair enough. Oh man. That was uh That was a rough one. That was definitely a rough uh rough drought right there. But that's fine. Let's let's start working on this. Let's get this thing up to 1.5, which is gonna push all this water back. It's actually draining a lot of that space which is a bit of a worry i'll tell you what let's lower that down to one we can uh we can still let some water through uh as soon as it raises up a little bit it is flooding some of that space but that's honestly okay that's that's kind of what we expected that's kind of what we want just a very very slow very gradual little little flood right there it'll fill this space up as well that's totally okay that's that's completely completely fine uh, we still have water flowing through here. We did dry out some of the space a little bit, which wasn't great, but that's okay. Hopefully this doesn't dry out completely as well. And I guess this is probably going to feel a little slower since a lot of the water is going this way too, but that's all right. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm, I'm just relieved that it's working. You know, looking at this, I think it's safe to say it's actually kind of worked. I've got this set at 1.5 on height. Water is flowing through. It's filling up this space, keeping that nice and full. This is 1.5 as well. This is filling up as well. So that's, that's good. That's really, 
really good. That's really good news. I think at this point, we we can consider it a success. That 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 makes me happy. We can actually go ahead as well and start planting some trees up here, which is even better news because it means that we actually have the the potential for a bit of production out here, which is absolutely essential. In fact, we could grow them up here as well. And honest, honestly, all around here, we can just grow trees. And that's that's kind of cool. That's kind of really, really cool. So that, that makes me so happy. And it actually means this district can uh, get water as well, which I think is probably worth doing instead of having it get uh, deliveries of water. So let's get some water pumps for this little district right here. Now, the pump can only go so far down, which is a little bit of a pain, but I think that's all right. So we'll just do, well, if I wanted to, I could put some dynamite in. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually going to do that. Uh, let me, let me see. So landscaping, dynamite, we'll blow up those parts. We'll make that a priority. And uh, you know what we should probably do since we don't need it anymore? Stop bringing explosives out there. Because we just, we just don't need them anymore. They're absolutely not, not at all essential for this district. And we probably have, um, we've probably got a few, right? Yeah, we got 15. All right. So let's blow these up. And uh, that actually wasn't quite what I wanted, thinking about it. I need to do that again. And I'm hoping the beavers can reach down there and build from, uh, yeah, they absolutely can. So we'll get that done. We'll flood that little space. And then that's where they're going to get water from. And that is uh, totally fine by me. Let's just get this built and then get it blown up. Get some water pumps in there. And it's going to be beautiful. So boom, that's been flooded. Let's go ahead and do one and two. And then that's once those are built, we can turn off water deliveries for this space. And then over this way is essentially going to be the same kind of story. But we kind of need some planks here. Which is why I would really like to get a distribution post going for this district. But there's just not really the space for it. Well, I say there's not the space for it. There kind of is, I guess. I guess we can go right there and build it. And uh, we can, I suppose, move planks from here to District 3. I was going to have this just be a temporary little space. But I think at this point, it's, it's going to be a bit more than that. And that's okay. I'm, I'm actually quite okay with that. In fact, let's also go ahead and... I mean, the thing, birch trees are not really worth growing, but I also kind of want to grow them. I kind of really, I kind of really want to grow them. I just, I just don't think they're worth it, but I might do it anyway. But for now, let's just do a lumberjack flag right there. And I guess... I guess to be different, let's just do birch trees. Let's let's make the space look a little, little bit different to everywhere else that we have. So uh, we'll just fill up all of that. We'll fill up all of this. And uh, eventually this place is just going to be absolutely covered in birch trees. And that's fine. That's, that's completely fine by me. Let's also... Ooh. So we need workers here. Do we really have no one in this district that can work right now? That's a little bit of a pain, isn't it? I mean, we could get more housing in here. That's 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 possible. It's, it's absolutely possible. If a bit frustrating that we don't have anyone able to... I guess they're all working. I mean, yeah, they are. Let's have a look. So nine jobs, nine taken, none unemployed. That's... That's that's great. I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. That's, that's what I am. Happy for them. Okay. How do I want to do this? What's the best way to get uh, get more housing in here? I feel like taking out some of the birch trees and doing it that way is, is probably the way to go. So if we clear this area for now, we could, I guess, throw some housing back here. And we could... We could throw more in here as well, but I think what I'm actually going to do is just a little mini lodge right there. And maybe, well, actually, what about, what about this 
right? So it's just a little bit of housing. It's nothing too fancy. It's not a great use of space, but it it's just enough. And I can actually go ahead and throw another lumberjack flag in there. And you know what I've just realized? We need a forester out here too. Oh boy, this this district is taking on a life of its own. Um, okay, so if we need a forester, that kind of changes things a little bit. That actually really, hold on. So this needs to go, this needs to go. That path needs to be redone. And then that would mean that I guess this needs to go, that needs to go. Oh man, this is, this is a bit much. Uh, and then the forester would go there. So right in sort of the middle of everything. It'd be better over here, but it's going to go right in the middle of everything. And I think that's all right. So right about there for a forester. And then we still need more housing. So I think, I think the best thing to do with the housing situation is going to be, let's have a little look. Housing, triple lodge. I think just straight you know, just going in with a, a triple lodge or even a double lodge, to be completely honest, might be a, a pretty good idea. So we build that right there. We can even go ahead and do a, another one of these guys up there. And then we just do some stairs. We do a platform. We do a path and a path and that'll be fine. So that'll be more housing and it'll also be a forester. And that should be fine. That, that should be totally fine. So we can get all this cleared. We can go ahead and say that we'll plant a bunch of birch trees out there. And that will be District 4. I don't want to go crazy with it. It's mostly going to exist, I guess, to supply this district with planks. So let's get that set up right here. What are we looking for? Planks right there. Done. And looking at the limits, planks are going to be 250. That's fine. Okay. That's totally okay. That should, in theory, help uh, this district grow quite a bit, which is exactly what we want to do. And there we go. We've got the new housing in District 4. I've migrated some beavers out here, so everything is up and running. We should have some trees going in in no time at all. And I'm also wondering if this guy maybe works up there since... Well, I guess... I don't know if District... I don't know if district like limits apply to this or not. I'm not really sure, but regardless, this is this is going to be kind of cool, I think. I'm really hoping that this guy works out there as well. It certainly looks like they've got no problem going outside of what is officially the district for things like, you know, trees and and all of that. And I'm I'm also really hoping that this hoping hoping. I'm hoping that this all comes together in the near future because I would like to get some trees grown up here so that we can hopefully start. I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work. I've got to be honest. I, I'm really not sure because here's the thing. A lot of these structures out here, well, all of them, they all need power and that means paper and gears and I just don't know how we're going to do it. I really don't because, I mean, we need a lot. That's, that's kind of the thing. We need so much power. And I don't know how we're going to do it. And my voice is not holding up right now. My throat's actually starting to get really sore. So apologies for my voice going everywhere. But we need so much power to make this place work. And I don't even think we're delivering paper out here right now. Which we're going to need to. Same with gears as well. So, I mean, how's District 1 doing for uh, for gears right now? 43. District 2 has none. Uh, District 1 has 100. Not 100. It's got 50 paper as well. Okay. I'll tell you what then. Let's... So, the printing press, right? It's, it's consuming paper. We have an... Ex explosives factory somewhere, right? We must have, because we have been making explosives. I've just got no idea. What does it even look like? That's that's going to be my question. So, metal, shredder, power, science. Where the... 
Where do I get the explosives? Why do I not remember anything about this? It's somewhere in here, I'm sure. Oh, it was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, it's right there. So let's pause the explosives factory since we don't really need explosives right now. And we're going to have to set up a route that takes, I guess, uh, paper up into District the Third. And we also need to take gears. So let's stop sending planks to District 2. And let's start sending gears to District 3. So that uh, hopefully all of this can start coming together. Hopefully we can start getting some production going. Because I think what we should do is definitely prioritize all of the power stuff. But then secondary to that should definitely be the lumber mills and if possible also a gear factory as well so if we can do that that's that's gonna be kind of great and then everything else should start falling into place from there that's that's kind of what i'm thinking i do want to see this district come together sooner than later because it's it's a big project it is going to take a while but if we can if we can get it underway if we can get it to start producing its own materials that's kind of a huge step and i mean Admittedly, it was a huge step getting this going, but all of this water is going to let us start growing some trees, and while it's not that many, it's going to be enough to give us a start, right? And that's that's all we need for this district right now. Oh no, we have a drought coming in in three days. You've got to be kidding me. You've got... Oh no. Okay, that's... That's a bit rough. That's that's a bit rough. We need to prioritize things a little differently, I think. We need planks out here. We desperately, desperately need planks in District 3. So let me head over this way and let me see. We aren't delivering any planks to District 3 right now. So add a new route from District 2 because District 1 doesn't have that many. And we... Don't actually have... Oh, we do have one plank out here. So that's... Well, you know what? Never mind. We need this done. We... I mean, we have been using planks. We've actually done a good bit of construction around here, which is great. But it's... It's... It's not... Not quite what we're looking for. This right here... We gotta start bringing up our own water out of this district. We really do. I If we have like an... An eight-day drought we've seen we can survive... But if it goes higher than that, which, I mean, oh man, I've just realized, isn't every, every cycle lasts something like 24 days, I think. Does that mean if there's a drought in two and a half days, so half a day from now will be day 12. We might have a 10 day drought. I don't know. I don't oh know. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I actually don't know. We might, we might have a 10 day drought on our hands. And if we do, oh my God, that's actually about as bad as it can be. That is, that is actually genuinely about as bad as things could be. So I am, I'm a little bit nervous to uh, say the least. I am, <laughs> I'm definitely a little bit nervous about what might be coming our way. Hopefully we can survive it. We should have enough food, although we don't have much in the way of uh, of bread right now, which is actually a bit of a worry. So District 1, okay, it's it's got enough food. District 2 actually doesn't have as much as I'd like it to. 3 and 4 should be fine because they're getting deliveries. So, yeah, here's hoping for good things, I guess. I think that's about all we can do is just do what we always do and hope for the best and hope that we don't die horribly. At least we're making some progress out here with the platforms and the power and all that stuff. But I think we're also going to have to throw uh, some power wheels out here as well. I think that's about the the best we can really do. And I think this is what we were going to be building, wasn't it? So we can get rid of this one for now. And I'm going to make uh, both of those a top priority because it's just logs for both of them. So if we can, well, we don't have enough logs for either of them, but if we can get enough logs, 
we can at least get some plank production going on out here, and uh, that would be lovely. Even though we don't have enough logs, that's... It's still something, right? It's still... It's still something. It's still better than nothing. It's... It's... Hopefully gonna be okay. And I'm realizing as well that while we don't have water pumps out here, technically, if this river drains, I can just lower these floodgates and let some of that water through. So... We might actually be okay. And also, I don't think I've ever seen this river as full as it is right now. Which is pretty good, to be honest. That's that's definitely not a bad thing. The lake eh, could be better. But the river is, especially upstream anyway, is a lot more full than I've seen it before. So we'll hope for the best, as always. Like I said, it's, it's all we ever do. We just hope for the best around here and, you know, pray that we're not going to die horribly because that is again all we can do uh now let's go ahead and get this guy connected let's get the other side connected up as well i actually realized i totally forgot to do that on uh, on all of these which is you know fair enough it happens we've got them all connected now uh this guy is just gonna need power and then that's production i guess so hopefully we can do that I mean, these trees are a little ways away from actually growing. So it is going to be deliveries that we're waiting on. But I don't think we're having issues with logs, right? Like, we have a good number of logs in District 1. Uh, District 2 has a pretty good number as well. So I guess let's set up a log delivery from here as well. Because we might as well do that. So we'll bring some logs out here so that they can be turned into things and stuff and planks mostly but you know stuff and things are valid uh, options for logs as well so hopefully it works oh wow i was not expecting this to actually get built uh that's that's actually really good news that's 291 on power output right now so if we can get all of this done as well that's huge that's this this isn't even needed if we can get uh all of these uh, these power connections done so that's good. That's that's actually fantastic right there. Let's uh, actually lower the priority of the rest of them. And let's focus on getting the power connections done. So that way, we might actually see some good things come out of this industrial district. We might actually see production, which would be amazing because we haven't had any of that right now. Oh, this is good. The drought is actually shorter this time. It's only going to be six days, which... I'm actually pretty confident we can absolutely survive that. Now, this bit of land, unfortunately, dry. This bit here, still beautifully flooded. So, I'm, I'm, I, oh man. I can feel it in, in my heart just how relieved I am that this isn't going to be as brutal as the, uh, the last drought was. So, that's good. That's fantastic. And uh, this is all coming together as well. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build stuff that we absolutely don't need right now because I just, I just can't help myself. Okay. I just, I just can't do it. I just, I like building things in this game and I kind of have an idea for something I'd like to build. So what I want to do is I want to get a mini lodge and I want to put a mini lodge right there and I want to put a mini lodge right there. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side as well. Something like this. And I'm going to bring a bit of path into the middle so that they're actually connected. And then I'm going to do a platform and a platform. And on this side as well. Some platforms in the middle too. And then... Well, there's actually a couple of things I could do here now that I look at it. And I'm suddenly very tempted to to do those couple of things but uh no i'm gonna stick to my guns on this oh no i'm not i'm actually i'm gonna go with a different idea that it's, it's just hit me that i could do this um so give me a mirrored lodge there and there give me a normal one there and there and then what we do is we bring a path out here and a path out here we do the same on this side. So that's going to be 3, 6, 9, 12. We're going to have 24 more beavers 
uh, in this district or capacity for 24 more beavers because I can also do this right here. And uh, that honestly looks fine by me. I mean, I could have done it a little differently, but that I think that's fine. Now, 24 more beavers is... For a district that doesn't provide its own food is, is a lot. But I think... I think we'll manage. I think we'll be okay. And I think it's just going to look cool. I just I just want more stuff. I want more beavers running around all of that housing. And I think the housing looks really cool. So that's what we're doing. And also, this is running. I just want to say, like, all of this power stuff is moving now because this is is up and going. That makes me so happy. That, oh my God. So that means we're actually making planks out here now. That's amazing. That is abs, that's fantastic. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled about that. We can get rid of this thing as well, which is great. We, honestly, I mean, we're building this as well. It needs logs, which eh, we kind of need to grow all of those. And to be honest, I feel like, I feel like we should probably turn this area into a forest as well, just because we, we can, and because we, I mean, we should, right? I feel like this whole space down here should just be a bunch of pine trees just so we can uh grow more at a time right i i think that's that's gonna help us out eventually i'll get rid of them but for now i think it's gonna be essential oh man i i'm so happy about this i'm really so happy about this and then the water levels are okay we've got four days left in the drought plenty of water it's good it's good this is this is like such a an it's it's the opposite of what happened in the last drought. We're actually doing okay this time. I actually really want to test this whole system of letting water through here. So let's bring that down to one, which lets us just flood this whole space and then just refill everything along here, which I mean, I think that's I think that's kind of cool. I've got to be honest. I think it's really cool that we can just refill all of that. And I don't think it's going to completely drain this area either. I think, honestly, it'll just refill this bit. Water might flow through there, but actually looking at it, we've, we've probably hit a point where actually we can just close that up again. That's, I mean, it's going to drain this bit, but the rest of it's fine. So that's, this is actually doing exactly what I wanted this space over here to do which that's that's kind of amazing that's that's oh man that makes me so happy that uh we can actually do this and also the fact that you know we've got two of these now that's also kind of a big deal uh in fact let's let's get a bit cheeky let's prioritize these guys uh we'll keep the priority on that we'll prioritize the gears as well and then it's logs, planks, and all the rest of it. We need metal blocks for the printing press. Now, metal blocks are made in the shredder. And to make a shredder, we need scrap metal gears and planks. Okay. Well, let's just... Let's just prioritize all of it. Well, maybe not the storage. The storage is probably going to take a while. Well, actually, the storage itself... Eh, yeah, it'll take a while, but... Uh, you know what? <laughs> let's let's be a little bit reasonable here. Uh, so you need metal blocks. So that's going to be like a secondary priority right now. So that's that's not a big deal. Uh, honestly, the paper mill. I don't I don't think it's a big deal either. So I'm going to turn it down even further. I I actually think the biggest deal would be getting these guys going. I think they're quite important as well. So that that seems like a fair setup for priorities. We should be able to get the lumber mills going in no time at all. We should also see these guys getting uh, harvested in a little bit as well. So all in all, like this is this is coming together. No one's dying of thirst. We actually have more water right now than we had at the start of the drought, which is a pretty big deal. Uh, we've not managed to completely drain the lake, which is also a pretty big deal, despite not turning any of these off, which I totally forgot to do at the start of the drought. So, not bad. Absolutely not bad. Although I do want to have a quick look at District 3, because population is 25. 
Okay, I think we have enough food. And I think we have enough water. So I think, I think population-wise, District 3 is doing just fine. And I've also just realized we have 5,000 science. Do we have anything? We have a lot of things not unlocked, actually. Okay. Let's start going down the list. Depth marker. I'm never going to use it. Well, actually, I say that. I could use it decoratively. It's kind of a cool-looking thing. We've got nothing in here, nothing in here. We have uh, the temple. Oh, yeah, let's absolutely get that. It's a pretty cool looking building. And then the carousel, which I've never had before. Also a pretty cool looking building. So that's that's a thing we're going to have to build. And then we have decoration. So we have like the small roof piece right here. We have a scarecrow. So what does it actually do? So it's aesthetics. Wait, aesthetics beaver statue increased within two tiles. Okay. So it just improves aesthetics within two tiles. Okay. Uh, we've got, wait. Oh, and then an actual beaver statue. Oh, that's pretty cool. I, li I like the beaver statue. Can I, like, put it over here? I absolutely can. Okay. So a beaver statue there and there. It's a total waste of resources in a district that needs all of the resources it can get. But it looks cool and I want it. And then for here... I want to do the same thing. So a couple of beaver statues. Then we've got things like log fences, which honestly, let's let's be completely real. A bunch of fences and decorative stuff would be kind of cool. And then we got like metal fences as well. Oh my god. And then we got monuments, which are like, oh my god, that one's twelve thousand. Needs six hundred horsepower. Oh my god. Okay, so I actually do need a lot more research. Interesting. So laborer monument. Oh, that's so cool looking. And I can put it on top of things too, can't I? So this could go like, I don't know, on top of this technically, if I didn't have the beaver statue there. Oh, that looks so good up there as well. Oh man, I might, <laughs> I might, might need this up there at some point. This one's 3,000, which we can't get right now. The flame of progress, that sounds awesome. Oh, that's so cool. That is actually so cool. I really... I want, I want everything. I absolutely want everything. I'm actually really excited to just try and get all of these things. That's, I, I totally forgot that we had those. And I didn't realize that one of them was 12,000. That's, that's a lot of science points. That is, that is a ridiculous amount of science points. But, I don't know, challenge accepted, I guess. I, uh, you know, I guess that's how I'm looking at it. I'm also realizing that we might need to, well... I say might. We absolutely do need to get another Lumberjacks flag. So, let me clear out that resource. And let me prioritize that so it's done nice and quickly. And then we can get a Lumberjack working right about here. And that should cover all of this as well. I could just do it down there. But I'd rather do it up out of the way a little bit. So, there is absolutely perfect looks fantastic that's going to cover all of those trees and then these guys back here at some point once we get the uh irrigation towers going can cover all of those trees this i'm genuinely i'm genuinely so happy about this i really am it makes me so happy that this district's up and going it makes me so so happy and then these guys are coming along i mean they need logs and actually thinking about it these Oh, no, these lumber mills might consume all of the logs that we have. Because we're going to have six of them, so each one needs, what, it's going to want to hold 13 logs? Oh, God, that might actually be a problem. <laughs> problem or not, though, the good news is that the drought is over. We're into cycle 13. We have water making its way back through the river. We have a bunch of water here. This did get drained out. But we've stayed above 3,000 water throughout the entire colony this entire time. So we're actually doing pretty well. No one's starving. No one's dying of thirst. We're just doing pretty well. And I'm really happy about that. I'm, I'm genuinely so thrilled about that because I wasn't... I wasn't thinking we would be. But we are and that's good so i'm i i keep saying that i keep saying i'm genuinely so happy but i really really am i just i thought this would be a little trickier than it has been but no we've got these going we've got these guys slowly being put together as well so everything's coming together we've got 
you know, trees being chopped down as well. So that's going to be resources for these guys and all of the construction. It's, it's nice. This district has been a long time in the making, and I didn't think that a tiny little District 4 was going to be an essential part of making this happen, but apparently, well, apparently it absolutely is. And I think what I'm going to do as well is actually throw a little tiny cluster of maple trees back here. Just so, you know, they'll take a lot longer to grow, but they will give us a lot more wood whenever they do grow. Because these birch trees, they're nice and they're different, but it's one log per tree. But they are the fastest ones to grow, so. Not really a super efficient district up here, old District 4, but not the worst one either. And that's okay. It's, it's done what I needed it to do. I needed it to build this. And... That's good enough for me. And speaking of this, this should start flowing over uh, kind of soon. There it goes. Okay, so that's going to start filling up the river. Fantastic. Did the lake drain? It didn't. And neither did this bit either. Not bad. That was a really... That that drought was, was smooth as anything. That was, that was good. Okay. Oh, this is being built as well. We're actually making gears out here. Oh, my God. I, I, okay, yeah, I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm going to say. You, you know exactly what I'm going to say. I, <laughs> okay, yeah, no, you know exactly what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it. You know what I'm going to say, looking at all of this. I'm not going to say it. I do, however, need to figure out what we're doing next. Oh, God, we did drain the lake. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, no, we're filling it again. Okay, never, no, we're good. I need to figure out what we're doing next. I guess, I guess trying to build stuff like the temple. And the carousel and everything else. I guess that's what we're doing next. 